may be wondering why officials would tell you to shelter when a plume with hazardous vapor is in your neighborhood. I'll explain what would happen if a chemical agent plume passed your house. As the plume passes the structure, some contaminants enter the building. The concentration of contaminants is lower in the building than outside and even lower in the safe room. Notice that the structure retains some contaminated air after all the contaminants are swept away from the air outside the structure. The reason contaminants remain inside a structure after the plume is passed has to do with the amount of air that normally enters and leaves a building over time. This is referred to as air exchange. All buildings have some air infiltration, even with all doors and windows closed, because air is constantly moving back and forth through the walls and cracks and crevices. Scientists can measure the rate of air exchange that occurs in a structure. That is, how long it takes for the air inside to be replaced by the air coming in from the outside. In homes that are not sealed to up-to-date standards, the average air exchange rate will vary from one to two air exchanges per hour. This means that on average, if the air exchange rate is two exchanges per hour, it will take about an hour and a half for most of the air in the house to be replaced with outside air. Unless retrofitted or weatherized, most older buildings have much higher rates of air infiltration. The air will pass more easily and quickly from the outside into the structure. If a chemical agent release were to occur, the most likely way the agent would reach your neighborhood is through vapor in a plume. Unlike the larger particles present in smoke from fires, vapor can penetrate structures more easily. Moreover, vapors don't rise into the atmosphere and condense, so chemical agent vapors aren't going to condense and fall down as rain droplets.